Hey guys, this is The Way. So today I'm going to show you the uh, breakdown of uh, Area 39 Zombie Descent. So for this itself, uh, for skilled players, it's definitely going to be 60% skills and 40% luck. Alright, so you begin your first descent here. As you can see in this uh, map itself, there are actually 8 spawn areas for zombies. Alright, so for the first wave itself, for floor 1, it's pretty easy. Uh, there's only two parallel spots and one wave of normal zombie so you have to understand itself this game it's really uh, you know uh, luck really plays a, a part here uh, after finishing uh, every floor itself So for this floor 1 cleared, uh, we pretty got much very lucky. So I got a sniper rifle. So as a sniper rifle uh, player user, so, so don't, uh, you know, don't go over here. One is just trolling us, you know, because we, <laughs> we played a lot of times and we got numb and, you know, they're just fooling around. So later on, I will show you uh, the next floor uh, where the, the, the sniper rifle player should be at all right so for second floor itself it's also pretty much simple except that the fact that uh, there is an introduction of the blue zombie that runs faster so once you hit 50% the, the second wave will come in from behind all right just so, so make sure you watch your back all right uh, if you have to switch back to pistol and make a run for it uh, whereas for me I, I just roll over and you know try to take out as many zombies as possible so with floor 2 cleared uh, when I have the sniper rifle you know I can let my teammates to actually get uh, the, the weapons alright so special weapons I have Lamor so Lamors and mines don't use them uh, it's very dangerous here okay so you can see me for floor 3 itself, uh, the wave pattern, they come in all directions. And uh, this is the spot that you should be in. You can see that I actually highlighted the area. So for sniper, uh, this is the sniper coverage. All right, Take note that uh, the green area here I have highlighted. This is the wall for you to know where the area is. The blue uh, lines is the area where the snipers should be covering the fire from. All right. Or in the beginning, you, if you're a light machine gun, you got an LMG or uh, you have a uh, submachine gun, AR or shotgun. The blue area is the area that you should take care of in the beginning of the game, all right? Because you have the upper hand, you have a you know, heavier weapon, whereas the rest of your guys have uh, pistols. So if in the first few rounds, uh, your... Your other two mates, they have heavier weapons as well. So, for example, uh, the, the floor, they actually give you two weapons to choose from. So, sniper area is definitely on the green sniper wall. Whereas the, the rest of the two players, for if your, your other players have a light machine gun, the light machine gun should be on the orange area, right? Because for machine gun users, they have... A, wider spread and you know it would be better if uh, they have a shooting range a further shooting range flat ground further shooting range to kill off the zombies so for light machine gun users they should be killing off the special zombies which is the blue zombies or even uh, the, the, the rifle zombies or the yellow zombies on the left side for this round right on on floor three the one with the pistol should be covering the gray area because uh, there's a platform there so there is an angle where uh, because of that angle it's an elevated area uh, you know that's a it's a blind spot where the light machine gun user will not be able to hit the zombies on the right side so it's more favorable for uh, submachine gun so in this is in accordance to uh, the preferred weapon here so it should be shotgun first followed by submachine gun then AR and then pistol, right? So this is really purely luck that you could get uh, either of this weapon. But the worst weapon, the worst heavy weapon is uh, AR. 
So if you have an AR and the rest of the two, your, uh, the rest of the two members have other heavier weapons, uh, change away your AR to something else. So even if it's a sniper rifle, it is good, all right? So let's get back to the gameplay here. So you can see me, I'm at the uh, sniper area. I'm actually taking out uh, as many zombies. So priority here, it's the blue zombie. So you can see that I'm always constantly looking out for the blue zombies. And of course, as well as the rifle zombie here, uh, because on uh, floor 3 itself, this is uh, the first appearance for uh, the rifle zombie. So over here, you could see that uh, Juan is still having his pistol. So the rest of me and Dragon has a heavier weapon. So Juan takes the pistol and I will take uh, the specials. And here, in this case, I got lucky and I got the adrenaline shot. So for floor 4 itself, uh, the zombies are coming in two parallel spots and there are two waves. So the second wave will appear with the yellow zombie at 30%. So make sure... Uh, you guys be on the lookout at 30% and they are going to appear behind you guys. So you could see that uh, on the sniper itself, as a sniper, I can actually have uh, take out one wave on one spot by itself. Uh, if your teammates, they're still on their, uh, you know, the, the other two can be on the other side. Okay, so once you see the zombie coming out from behind, you have to, the whole team has to move to a safe zone. To actually uh, hold down uh, as you can see here there's not many zombies there's no zombies here on this spot so we actually hold out and we could clear uh, floor 4 easily so for this game itself for specials uh, I believe that the developers uh, purposely made it that uh, for adrenaline shot there's only two guys gonna get it there will not be any three you know three teammates getting adrenaline shots uh, all together so for floor five right now it's uh, two parallel spots you could see uh, as a sniper I'm always looking on my side until uh, my teammates actually tell me hey it's on the other side so for floor five there's uh, the, the zombies having introduced you know all of the zombies have appeared now so on this level, they are going to be more, all right? It's going to be more, their damage will be higher, their HP, their health will be higher, all right? So you have to take note here, it's that uh, the second wave zombies, they will appear at 25% and they will appear right behind you. So what we are doing now, it's uh, we're trying to kill off as many zombies as possible. You could see uh, we are trying to take out the blue zombie first. Or I would say all the special zombies first, uh, followed by uh, normal zombies. Okay, so right now the zombies have appeared, and uh, we, you know, we, we actually took different directions here, which is fine, which is all right. So as a machine gun supporter or user, uh, the machine gun is supposed to take out as many uh, zombies as possible. So guys, this game itself it really depends on luck. All right, it's 40% luck and 60% skills. And on this case, I'm really lucky that I managed to get a shotgun. And Juan actually now takes up the spot for sniper area, which you could see in the map that I put a sniper and LMG. And Dragon is onto the orange area where he's gonna take care of the uh, left side. And as a shotgunner, I'm taking care of the gray area. So as a shotgunner, my role and responsibility has changed. So it's more onto protecting your teammates from the blue zombies or uh, the rifle zombies. Take note that on floor 6 itself, there is no yellow zombies, but uh, the zombies are coming in a constant wave in uh, all directions. Just uh, stick to, uh, depending on your weapon, stick to the position that you're in, all right, to control the crowd. So at the end of floor 6, we got really lucky because Dragon just got his adrenaline shot. So now we have 
uh, two players with adrenaline shot one is me and the other one it's uh dragon g so guys for floor 7 itself you do not need a sniper rifle user but look at what we are doing here it's uh, we're looking out for the spot because there is one spot where uh, uh, there is no yellow zombies all right so we would start clearing some of the zombies so you could see we are moving back so this is the spot we need to look out at each every angles to find that spot all right before we start uh, moving in one direction so we hold out on this spot because this is the spot where uh, the yellow zombie does not spawn out and that's where we can hold them all right so for a uh, shotgun user for me my role and responsibility when we are doing circles uh, is to open up uh, the front for my teammates to move ahead all right so my main objective here is to keep a spot out for the zombies in the front whereas the rest of the two members they're supposed to you know kill, kill the the coming zombie horde all right so you could see me what i'm doing here is i'm opening the route so that the zombies do not kill my teammates from behind so if you see all right so the thing here it's for floor seven itself uh, the zombie waves will keep coming and keep dropping you know the moment you start killing off uh, the existing horde all right so we have to keep circling so the pattern here for circling is that the mo you know if the zombies are dropping off from their spawn locations which is all directions uh, do not kill any of the zombie hordes okay dragon g actually he went on to the wrong path and he actually what he does here is he rolls back into the same path as me so that uh, we do not break away the, the horde into two lines all right that's the very key issue here a reason why i break away it's because it's two percent already uh, that's not like three yellow zombies here and of course uh Juan died again <laughs> due to uh, the zombie that's just near him. As we're nearing the end of uh, our floors here, so it's not necessary to have two uh, LMGs. So Juan actually changed out and got a submachine gun, which is good. For floor 8 itself, there's four zombie spawn locations at each end of the map with uh, the blue zombies as well as the rifle zombies. There will be one spot where uh, the the spot will be just filled with normal zombies all right uh, as a shotgunner your job here this is your job here so your job is to take out the blue zombies as many as possible all right so you could see me trying to get rid of uh, the blue zombies because uh, this round itself there's a lot of them and they can kill you and your team uh, very fast all right so this is the job for uh, the shotgun so the moment that you manage to get them to walk in circles uh, my suggestion here is keep moving forward but the shotgunner role here is to take out the blue zombies all right you could see that juan and dragon g they're mostly in front and i am uh you know in the middle or behind them looking out constantly looking out for blue zombies to take out or rifle zombies okay so for floor 8 the zombies will stop dropping at 25% so that ends the, the whole wave itself and uh, with that you know you can just clear uh, the zombie horde easily and smoothly on the voice chat itself i told dragon to take care of the rifle zombies whereas i will take my time to rescue juan now So for floor 9 itself, it's very easy. It's uh, two parallel spots and it's just coming in 
you just have to find it, stay in the middle. All right. So for Juan, uh, because he does not have any adrenaline shot, so we told him to get, uh, you know, tried his luck on the special item, which he got a C4 for it. So take out the blue zombies as soon as possible, followed by the yellow zombies, and lastly, the rifle zombies. Because I know that the wave has not started and I'm being poisoned here, I injected myself with adrenaline to stop the poisoning. So once you're done with that, always remember, stay, go back to the platform, stay there, look where the direction of the zombies are coming from. So for Floor 9 itself, you do not worry about uh, whether the zombies will just drop down by surprise because they won't, because this is a clearing waves stage for Floor 9 itself. So that's the last of the wave and we're going to be preparing for floor 10, the last floor. So we got Juan to uh, change his specials again because, he, you know, hopefully we have a third adrenaline, which I think, uh, you know, it's already being uh, scripted by the developers that only there's only going to be two adrenaline shots. So for floor 10 itself, the zombies are normal zombies. They're faster and they have higher damage. So it's like a mini blue zombies. They're coming out in all directions. But you could see that uh, our machine gun guy, Dragon, is still in his uh, staying in that spot that originally was. And Juan here, it's, he's actually taking the fall for me so that he can create the way for me to escape. All right. And so that I can be reunited with Dragon again. And you could see that both Dragon and I are trying to herd the zombie horde uh, so that they start to have this circling. All right. So same thing. It's back to the same thing that I'm doing now because the zombies are dropping, uh, you know, dropping all the time. So what I'm doing is I'm clearing, I'm, I'm clearing the way for uh, a Dragon here. I have to spot the front, you know, as well as the back, just in case that the zombie gets near him, although he has the adrenaline shot, so I'll protect him. All right, so he's the one that is uh, doing all the killing and damage here. For me, I'm just clearing away uh, the zombies that are obstructing uh, our path. So basically, the moment that uh, the zombies stop dropping, uh, it's the time where uh, we start killing off uh, and thinning the zombie horde, all right, until uh, we see the zombies being dropped. So during here, uh, we are in the voice chat, so I'm the one that is telling, uh, watching and telling Dragon that, hey, look, uh, the zombies are dropping, it's time to move, all right, so Dragon knows about it and he will change to pistol if he's uh, too slow and uh you know to start going in circles again all right so you could see here it's that when we know that the dro zombies are dropping we 
just ignore them and we just uh, keep walking straight in circles all right until we confirm that there's no more drops and we will start finishing uh, thinning the horde again so the this, this time around the zombie uh, are dropping again so you can see that I'm moving and then trying to keep pace with a uh, dragon So in any case where there is only one adrenaline shot user, which is which will be quite tough, uh, my suggestion is give the machine gunner uh, the, the higher chance of picking special weapons so that he can get the adrenaline shot because he really need you really need the machine gunner to clear off the zombies uh, to have the adrenaline shot. Whereas for a shot gunner. You have to try to use uh, roll, you know. So with that, I've come to the end of uh, this zombie descent tutorial. I hope you guys can learn something from here. And you know, if you have any question, you have any doubts, you know, by all means to drop the comments in this video below, and I'll try my best according to the my experience to try and answer you. All right. I wish you all the best out there. I hope that this tutorial will get you a better insight to get the Michael Myers skin. And I wish you all the best. Good luck in getting this in the next few days, all right? I am the way, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield.